and through the creation of wars, several things happen. First of all, the companies which manufacture the missiles, the guns, the bullets, the uniforms, all of the paraphernalia to do with uh, warfare, all make huge profits. Uh, secondly, uh, there is a culling of the male population. Since the 1950s, we've had several reports from think tanks that feed information into the European Union, the British government, and also the American government, which are recommending depopulation. And there is uh, several plans uh, which we believe have been put in motion right now. And obviously, war is one way of depopulating. Now, in addition to creating false conflict and engineered wars, the Hegelian philosophical system, which has been followed by the Skull and Roman Society and also the group that the Souls Coalition has um, the Hegelian system also requires uh, complete utter obedience. Freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of individuals to choose what they want to do with their lives um, doesn't come into play at all under this German Hegelian system. In actual fact, um, Hegel uh, says that uh, the individual should be 100% obedient to the state, and the state should take on the image of God. Now, in the Hegelian system, the state is all powerful, so we should ask ourselves, uh, what is the state? Well, the state is the elite, the state is the royal, aristocratic hierarchy, who are able to maneuver and live their lives in any way that they choose, because they are super wealthy. Now, let's just talk about super wealth and super wealthy people. I can tell you now, after meeting quite a few of them, that they are very, very different to you and me. Uh, when I'm talking about super wealth, I am not talking about a uh, puff daddy who has uh, allegedly three Bentleys. I'm talking about super wealth, uh, family wealth, which was... Uh, in millions back in the 19th century. Now, when we look at uh, this hierarchy of aristocrats and royal uh, families uh, around the world, we can see that they are the state. They are the people that the robots, I call them robots, uh, the civil servants, who run the machinery of the state, it is the civil servants who swear allegiance to this elite when you join the British civil service. You do not swear an oath to serve the British people. You swear an oath to serve the monarch. Um, it's the same when you become a spy, when you join MI5 or MI6 or any of the other DI or MI agencies, and there's many of them run by the British government. You are swearing allegiance to serve the reigning monarch, not the British people. While the American people sing the Star Spangled Banner, the author has found that the Order of the Skull and Bones encourages its members to intermarry, thus keeping their spectacular wealth all in the family. <laughs> fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack. America was targeted for attack because I've directed the full resources of our intelligence and law enforcement communities to find those who want peace and security in the world and to bring them to justice. We will make no distinction between the terrorists who committed these acts and the victims of the American economy. On behalf of the American power greater than any of us, I thank the many world leaders who have called to offer their financial institutions and assistance. With your television set, do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling.
Субтитры 